essentially a key thing in predicting the future or understanding the future. And that's the classic technology adoption curve, which we don't have many of you here know by heart. But the key thing is to remember what, whoop, the tipping point. Understanding the tipping point of these technologies is absolutely crucial. Why? Because tipping points before this time, you think, ah, this solar stuff's not going to work. And then once it happens and it goes exponential, you go, oh my God, that thing is just going to take off in a way. This is the key insight in understanding how new technologies are going to play out. The second thing is the mindset of everybody is always rooted in the old way of doing things. Oh, those internal combustion cars, you know, it's, it's, that's the way it's going to be. Until you get a new technology, enough people adopt it, and then, boom, it is so superior that everyone shifts. This is a classic paradigm shift thing. I'm arguing, going forward, we are absolutely in this paradigm shift, and we're also at the tipping point across many of these things. And you can see this in the early statistics around clean energy, for example. Because what's happened, just like digital technologies, the costs in the last 40 years of solar power has just dramatically dropped. And because of that, we, if we had the time, we'd go a little slower, but I'm just gonna move fast. The adoption has started the hockey stick up. And what's starting to happen now, is you're watching how global finance is now over $1.2 trillion in private money, not government money, has gone in last, just last year into all things green. This is the auto industry, this is the solar industry. We are watching the hockey stick of global capital moving, and ultimately, here's one of many different charts. This goes back to the 60s. If you take energy from the nuclear industry and energy from the non-hydro renewables, we're watching, this is wind and solar. This is absolutely taking off. And so which of these trajectories would you want for clean energy going forward? You'd want the one that's going off the charts like this. This is gonna be, by far. now, will it solve everything? Not everything. We do have to kind of move into some other kind of energy sources, but, we're well on our way. Same thing with electric. And this has just happened in the last few years. Why did electric come down? The cost of lithium batteries came dramatically down. Basically, we watched the global uptake. Of, now it's 10% globally of all new cars are essentially fully electric. And so you start to watch how going out to 2040, the different ch Europe and China, by the way, are leading the way on this. But you can totally see how this is going to happen. The takeoff is happening across the world. Every major car company now is involved. And you can watch throttling back the internal combustion engine. These are just different ways of happening. This is a, a classic technology transition moment. It's just that we're at the beginning of it and hard to see the end. It's coming. And over this next 25 years, will absolutely happen.